Hey everyone, I'm Shimas, a member of the AEC Digital Transformation Team at Pentagon Solutions. And in this short video, I'm going to show and talk to you about some of the different features the steel ribbon tab has within Revit. This tool set has been available since 2019. However, it has been widely underutilized within the design and construction industry. It has the potential to improve both conceptual and structural design, along with creating detailed structural analysis, estimation and quantification of components, and the overall reduction of waste in steel fabrication. The use of steel connections aids companies in assessing the labor cost requirements from the tender stage to the construction stage. This can be achieved by pricing specific elements such as the material required, labor requirements and additional processes needed at the fabrication level. The steel connections function aids in the implementation of 5D BIM processes, which allows for more accurate cost information being captured by creating a detailed visual and dynamic information infused BIM model. Here at Pentagon Solutions, we have worked alongside companies to improve their data infused projects by improving and implementing effective workflows that caters to their needs. For this demonstration, I will be using Revit 2022. This is a model I have created. It has multiple levels of structural elements throughout. To demonstrate how effective using the steel ribbon tab is, we can populate the entire project while only using a small section. As we can see, we have many features located within this tab. These include connections, fabrication design, modifiers, and parametric cuts. Each of these has its own unique features and parameters associated with them. We can use these tools to generate graphical and non-graphical information for structural design at the design and construction stages to create a rich BIM asset model. In this video, I will demonstrate how we will use some of these tools. First off, we will look at the structural connections for a project. Here we can see a wide range of different structural connections. All of these connections come standard with Revit. Revit can identify the different connection types used for structural connections and has provided different filtering options. These include beam to end, beam to column, general bracing, and so on. This makes identifying the type of connection you need more effective, as well as scheduling the desired information associated with those connections at the end of the project. Once the connection type has been added, you can start using the connection function. By selecting two or more structural elements, you can create your desired connection. The connection is automatically based in the model and has adjusted the beam to no longer clash with the column. By selecting and hiding the newly added plate, we can see that it has added the whole details to the structural elements. We can also see a range of new parameters have been automatically added and updated to the frames in the properties palette. At first glance, we can see paint area, weight and exact weight have all been added and automatically populated. These are the parameters engineers have been trying to populate within a project for years. Yes, there are ways around this by creating these parameters with shared parameters. However, using the connections feature will add these to your structural elements as a built-in parameter, which we can then use later for accurate fabrication detailing and BIM asset management and maintenance. Additionally, we can see the length and cut length of the steel frame has updated while still maintaining the connection from the center point of the column. These connections are system families and can be customizable to your needs. As you can see on the left, there are many parametric options available, such as welds, top details and vertical bolts. Each of these parametric groups 
has its own unique parameters associated with them, both for design and scheduling purposes. Changes can be made and viewed in the preview window. This is extremely useful for setting out and fabricating components. Once these changes are made, we can see the connection has been updated and automated within the project. This automation of structural connections allows for the model to become quickly populated and then used later for fabrication and setting out details. A variation of placing a steel connection is the use of the notching feature. This is located in the parametric cutting section. This tool aids in the modification of geometry of structural elements of intersecting components. This feature works similar to the steel connections tool. It will automatically create a connection between intersecting elements, allowing you to highlight the connection and modifying it through the pr modify parameter option. These connections are created and used for fabrication drawings and standardization of components. This prevents errors in the manufacturing and the construction phase by avoiding costly changes as the steel details are already predefined in the setup. This allows for fabricators to better assess what are the material requirements of the project, quantifying them against additional processes required, labor requirements, and the time of completion. With these connections completed, we are able to quickly apply them to a project through the use of the propagate function. Propagating a model allows the user to populate the project or current view quickly. This function allows for the connection to be added to similar elements, types, and the connection face of said elements. You can use this function for all connection types. This allows for the standardization across the project, especially a fabrication level for steel detailing. A great example of this is when using welds. You are able to highlight where the weld is required for the structural element, along with adding the appropriate tag and symbol to your drawing. This is a great way when using the likes of scheduling to quantify the number of welds required for a project. This ties back in to the likes of your 5D BIM process when having to find the likes of subcontractors to complete this on site or in house. All information regarding structural connections can be captured in the schedule. The structural connection has a wide range of different scheduling types. These schedules allow for more accurate estimation of a project and for evaluation on the time taken for construction. As you can see, we have the likes of welds, structural connections, plates and bolts available. Pre-design and construction benefits of using steel connections. Accurate automation of connections with predefined conditions can be loaded into an entire project effectively. These connections create a standardized library for accurate fabrication detailing that aids in the pre-design and construction stages by the overall reduction of rework spanning across labor, material, and processes. This aids in achieving a 5D BIM process by accurately quantifying what is required for a project's completion. By integrating your structural elements through the use of steel connections, the graphical and non-graphical information behind each component becomes rich with data relating back to each stage of the project. This information can then be scheduled or exported when required. This integration of information gives us a much clearer picture of a true digital twin while also avoiding costly errors throughout the project's lifecycle. Integration between other Autodesk products. Steel connections can be integrated into many different Autodesk products. These include AutoCAD when exporting structural elements for sheet fabrication and laser cutting, the use of Navisworks for coordination purposes by using the newly created datasets from the connection types, and the robot structural analysis software 
to complete a more accurate and advanced structural analysis that reflects a true digital twin. For more information and benefits on how to implement steel structural connections into your business workflow, contact Pentagon Solutions for training and consultation. Thank you for watching. Click subscribe to keep up to date with future videos. You can also follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook and Twitter.